In this video I'm going to show you how to create a zip file. And zip files are compressed versions of ordinary files or it could even be a combination of several files that are compressed into a smaller one. And this makes things easier to send over the internet or to download from web pages and so on. Now there are lots and lots of different programs that you can use to create zip files and if you come to this website here download.cnet.com and do a search for zip you'll find there's a whole lot of different ones some are free uh, some you have to pay for some have uh, free trial periods and so on the one that I like to use is this one which is secure zip which you can download from pkware.com um, it's not free anymore but you can get a 30-day free trial and the thing that I like most about it is it's very easy to use and the way that I like to use it to create zip files is within Windows Explorer because what you can do is just highlight the file that you want to zip just select it and then right click and come down to PK zip and then you can select from the pop-out window here, pop out menu, and if you want to zip several files together just select the first one, hold down the shift key and select the last one, or if you want to zip uh, several files but not all of them, um, select the first one, hold down the control key and select the others that you want to do it like that. Then right click, come to PK zip and if you're adding it to a new archive, if you're creating a completely new zip file, select Add to New Archive. It opens up the window and by default it will open up a window to save it in the same directory that you already have the source files in. And it also automatically names it after the last file that you've selected. I'm actually going to rename this, so let's call this example PDFs and then click on save. You get this window that pops up that will ask you if you want to password protect it. I don't in this particular case so I'm going to click on skip and then hey presto there it is there's your new zip file created. Very easy to do it that way.